Let's talk about uh, somebody else you're going to bring in, not as a heel, but boy, maybe the ultimate sympathetic baby face. He first got a dark match. I guess you guys like what you saw. And now you're going to put Zach Gowan on TV. And he even gets a win over Road Dog. And uh, of course, Raven attacks him after the win. But still, this is a guy who's, I don't know, just talk to me about this whole Zach Gowan opportunity i mean here he is a one-legged wrestler we a lot of us saw him in this in his wwf run now he's here in tna what do you think what can you tell us about zach i mean today i'm going to give shout uh uh zach a shout out i am so happy for him and proud of where he's at today uh in these early days i always had mixed emotions on look, coming from my background and territory days and kayfabe and realism and <clears throat> Excuse me. How's the audience going to take it? Well, you well, see, you see him one time and you listen to the towel and him doing a you know a, a moonsault or or whatever it may be, and how athletically Zach is. Um, yeah, I was sold right away, but it was like, how are we going to navigate our way through the storytelling process of of Zach with his you know physical condition? What, who is the right opponent? How will we get there? Again, you do that with any talent, but with, with something that is so visually uh, enticing, just mesmerizing how gifted he is, but how are we going to do this justice? Something else I want to talk about that we touched on earlier, sort of sowed the seeds for. You did a dark match with Zach Gowan. It went well. You put him on TV. He gets a win over Road Dog. And then. Dave Meltzer would say it led to one of the strangest negotiation stories in recent times. Tenacious Z, which is the name that Zach Gowan wrestles under, verbally agrees to a contract on February 14th for allegedly $52,000 a year as a downside guarantee. This is just two days after he had been offered a contract by TNA, the same show, February 12th. Bob Ryder handed him a $500 per shot offer. For 26 dates. So 13 grand is the guarantee from TNA. 52,000 is the guarantee from WWE. And Meltzer would say this is example number 5,526 of why a promotion needs to have its talent signed before putting them on television. TNA had never been raided before, so they hadn't learned the lesson the hard way. But 20 years of history should have told them this from day one. Behind the scenes, it's written here that Jeremy Borash was a big advocate for bringing in Gowan and thought of all the marketing possibilities and he helped get to work where they got confirmations that the USA Today and Public or People Magazine were both going to do stories on him as well as an appearance on the Best Damn Sports Show period. And there was at least preliminary interest in doing something on the David Letterman show. And now two days after you offer the contract, he's gone. He's going to WWE. How frustrated are you when this happens? Uh, and, and I guess who, um, who gets the blame if that's the right phrase. And I would have taken all the blame because in reality, just what I stated, I, I was always, how, where are we going to go? Maybe after storyline one and maybe even two, a long-term plan I immediately said, I can't wait to see what Vince does with him. The success story, the personal interest story. Everything that goes with it on Zach's best day, he was going to make twenty six thousand dollars with us. Right, that's, I mean that's the reality. And so for him to get an opportunity, did I hate that it happened for the TNA brand? Absolutely. And I'm sure I'm sure I feel that from a personal point of view is this guy's about to go get on a huge stage. And I said it, you know, I said it today, and I said it back then. A long term plan. It, it, you know. Yes, you can get him in a tag and, and everything with that, but it's 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 a, a week in, week out. That's not going to be the easiest talent to cook you to create the episodic because there comes a point then the same angle and the same heel and the same protagonist has kind of the same line and work toward him. I don't even want to call it a disability because dude is unbelievably talented, but you know, his physical situation, but w how do you keep going with it? Um, anyway, I was happy for Zach. I really was. 